So now let's read Thomas and Friends. Happy birthday, Thomas! It has been a very busy day on Sodo when Thomas puffed into the station at Maroon. I'm sorry, Thomas, but you are not finished yet, said Fat Controller. I need you to pick up Annie and Clarabelle and get some truck to the quarry. I'll be as quick as I can, called Thomas as he pulled away. Thomas worked really hard. He pulled Annie and Clarabelle from one side to the, of the island to the other, shunted truck to the quarry and couple up with Annie and Clarabelle again to take them home. When Thomas returned to the shed, he was too tired to talk to his friend and went straight to sleep. The other train were worried. Thomas had been working so hard, said James, and eat his birthday soon. We should do something nice for him, chimed Gordon. I've got an idea, exclaimed Percy. The next day, everyone gathered in the yard to talk about the big plan. I can't wait to see Thomas face Tooth Bertie. Don't forget that it's a surprise, Bertie, warned Emily. You mustn't tell Thomas. I won't, said Bertie. He couldn't wait for his part in Thomas' big surprise, but he was worried he might give the secret away. Later that day, Thomas was just about to pull away from Knapp. Port station when he noticed Bertie arriving. Hello, Bertie, called Thomas. Oh, can't stop, said Bertie. Ship, Wesley, and he shot off down the road. Bertie must want me to raise him, exclaimed Thomas as he speed away after him. Bertie was worried that he would give away the surprise, so he drove away as fast as he could. The Thomas' wheels were turning faster and faster and faster. Thomas was close to catching up when Bertie turned off the road beside the track and zoomed off away from Thomas. Thomas didn't know what to do. Normally, Bertie loved to race with him. Maybe Bertie doesn't want to be friends with me anymore. That night, Thomas puffed very slowly and very sadly back to the shed. In the morning, the fat controller asked Thomas to come all the way to the steamwork to meet him. Go faster, we are late, grumbled Annie and Clarabelle. Must hurry, must hurry, puffed Thomas. He was feeling very tired after his PC week. There you are, Thomas, said the Fed Controller when Thomas arrived at the steamwork. We need to smarten you up. And so he dom was Polis. He was given a smart new coat of paint and his buffer were buff. And he was given brand new shiny wheel. Now you're ready, said the Fed Controller. Ready for what? asked Thomas. Happy birthday, Thomas! cheered the Fat Controller as they pulled up to the party. Surprise! shouted Bertie from the platform. I'm sorry I didn't race with you the other day, Thomas, but I didn't want you to know about your surprise birthday party. It was a wonderful party. All of Thomas' friends wished him a very happy birthday and even sang to Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! That was a good party, said James that night. Did you have fun, Thomas? asked Bertie. But Thomas didn't reply. He had already fallen asleep, thinking how lucky he was to have such a good friends. That's the end.